What's up, everybody? Jeff Gatz here. Today, let's talk about Harvey Wallbanger by Chimp Spanner. So today I want to take this song, break it down a bit for you, go over some of the tricky bits so that hopefully you can take this knowledge and apply it to your own playing and learn this song for yourself. So overall this song involves a ton of crazy syncopation with your feet and in order to keep track of what I was playing when I was doing this cover I incorporated what I like to call substitution sticking. This is a method that I learned uh, when I was growing up and I think it's the best way just to keep track of what your right foot should play and what your left foot should play. So, in this method, basically you just need to find the smallest subdivision that's present in a particular passage that you're going to be playing with your feet. And, within that passage, assign your right foot to, say, the even notes in that passage, and then your left foot assign that to all of the odd notes in the passage. So what do I really mean by that? For example, if I were to play in 4-4 time a series of straight 16th notes all the way through a measure, then I could assign my right foot to play all of the what I call even notes and my left foot to be playing all of what I call the odd notes. So, in this case, my right foot would be playing 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and and my left foot would be playing E, uh, E, uh, E, uh, E, uh. Alright, cool. So let's move on to section C. Here things aren't quite as straightforward, but you can still apply the same principle of substitution sticking. Uh, here again, the smallest subdivision is 16th notes, and um, I will again be playing all of the even notes with my right foot and all of the odd notes with my left foot. Okay, let's talk now about section E. This is definitely one of my favorite parts of the song. Uh, this section revolves around a driving eighth note pattern played on the snare, uh, punctuated by crash hits on every quarter note. So basically in this, this section, um, I actually played alternating double strokes on the snare drum because I wanted to specifically hit alternating crashes on either side of my kit. You don't necessarily need to do this. You could obviously play all of the snare drum hits with one hand while you're hitting the crash on either side every quarter note. I simply did this just because I wanted to add a little bit of a visual effect, uh, but you don't need to do that. So here's an example of this right now.
again, in this passage I used substitution sticking with my feet, but this part of the song really is not quite as demanding as the rest of the song, so feel free just to use one foot on the bass drum, for example, if that's what you prefer. Okay, so moving on to section H, this is one of my favorite parts of the song as well. Uh, this takes place over measures 49 through 56. Uh, what's cool about this section is the crash pattern versus what you're playing with your feet. And what I mean by that is, at the beginning of the passage, you'll be playing crash hits on the first and third count, or first and third quarter note, of each measure. But then in measure 52, there will be an extra quarter note thrown in, so you'll be counting that measure in 5-4, and as a result of that, the quarter note hits on your um, and your crashes will actually shift by one quarter note so that instead of being played on the first and third quarter notes of the measure they'll actually be played on the second and fourth quarter notes of the measure. And this is a very cool effect that um, is actually particularly challenging with what's already going on with your feet. So here's an example of that. Cool. So, um, perhaps to better kind of emphasize what's happening with the crash pattern in this section, I'm actually going to play it now, keeping the crashes hitting on the one and third, the first and third quarter notes of each measure, even after measure 52, even after that extra quarter notes added. So, hopefully, this will kind of help you hear and uh, get a reference point of how that crash pattern is shifting after measure 52. <laughs> 